worst fight I said 132. 132 weeks have been doing the same thing. So what's the worst mistake you ever made in a relationship and what did you do to fix it? Um worst the worst mistake I made and how did I fix it? Um I guess when I first started out with dating, you know, being in a relationship, you know, when you first start out the first one, you make a lot of mistakes. Um <clears throat> Um, I, the biggest mistake I did was I wasn't communicating in, in, in my relationship because I didn't know about communication. I had never been with nobody. So, you know, it was always me and my family and the relationship. So my, I realized from that first one, five and a half years we were together, I engaged to be married, um, but never got married. But um, I feel like I learned about communication the most because as small as it may seem, it's a really big thing. Um, I'm writing a book called uh, The Three C's That Make a Break a Relationship, but that's commitment, communication, and compromise. So long story we'll get into that some other time but to me it was a commitment so how did I change that <clears throat> second time around I made sure to be very communicative and express my feelings and um put everything on the table and not and not you know hold some things to myself and put it all out there um yeah that was my worst mistake I feel like communication and how I fixed it was Chris okay so I kind of um want to kind of piggyback off what you said I totally agree um, <laughs> with, with you know approaching relationships that you know thank you for sharing that um the worst mistake I've made was uh deciding too quickly or making decisions about who a person was instead of finding out first I made that decision to this is who I decided they were in my mind and this is not who they were instead of you know, just taking the time to observe that, observe that first before fully giving myself, because I'm a, a hopeless romantic. I immerse myself and, and I'm very passionate. So, you know, I, I immerse myself, but, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, experience, our experiences definitely help shape. And, uh, my, uh, how did I fix it? Oh, I left. It's over. It's not what I want. It's not going to create anything I want. It's no, there's no reason for me to give my, continue to give my energy or, I mean, it's just not my vibe. So, uh, no, no love lost. Um, uh, I just continued on my journey. Well, all right. So Cal, first mistake you made in a relationship, how you fixed it? Oh, can we go back to the little baby Karen again? That's a little less. Uh... <laughs> no, we want the T's. Hashtag verse TV, Kyle. You got All right, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to look at the word. The, the word I, I made. A, I made a ton of mistakes, but I'm looking at the word worst. I'm going to. I'm going to. Worst mistake I made was I. I uh, was unfaithful. Um, and uh, it was a relationship that was very serious and. Um, Things were happening uh, in our lives, having nothing to do with our relationship, but it was impacting our lives. That was, um, and this is explaining, not um, excusing. And instead of doing sort of what um, you know, y'all were saying, sort of talking about like being open and honest and communicating, saying, "Hey, here's what I'm feeling." I um, even if it was, I need to leave this. This isn't working for me, which is the mature thing to do if that's where you're at. I uh, took the coward route and I, you know, was unfaithful for a while and, and um, was caught and, you know, hurt somebody who did not deserve any of that. Um, how do you fix it? You don't, that's, that's, that's the thing you live with. You don't fix that. That's, uh, uh, that's sort of a damage you do to somebody that didn't deserve it. And you just sort of hope they're in their world, you know, growing from that and sort of gotten out of a better situation and is with somebody happy and content because I certainly wasn't that person. So you can't fix it. You just go to the next relationship and you try to be aware of those um, those things that are maybe getting you nervous. And then you try to say, okay, hold up. I'm looking to bail or I'm looking to do this. I got to step back and talk to my partner and say, hey, here's how I'm feeling. And it might not work out, but it's better than doing what, what I did because there's just nothing worse than that. So thank you for being honest, Kyle. Appreciate right. that. That's like yeah. hard to admit. That's real, real. Bring yeah, the yes, tea. Spilling the tea. Yeah. Spilling the tea. He, he definitely did. Miss Jasmine, talk to us. Worst mistake you've ever made in a relationship and how you fixed it. 
I think, um, yeah, I, can you guys see me? No, you're on the side, just move it to the middle. I yeah, think, um, I agree. Um, what did I mistake? Oh, like being with a kind of crazy person, but everybody did that. That's all I have to say. To read how, got you. How'd you fix that? You, you laugh? What'd you? How'd you fix that being with a crazy um, person? Did you leave them? Did yeah, you... I left and yeah, usually I don't want to leave easy because everybody do something, but I would with anything that's going to be super serious, not like basics serious. I'm like, yeah, whatever you do for that, but every everything is like a you kind of do it differently, like everybody for everything. So yeah. I love, but something very crazy. It wasn't like like automatic love, but like, yeah, but yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, so what's the question number two? Talk to us. Question number two. Are you giving your all to the relationship you have with yourself? If not, why? Um, I don't know much about it. I never heard or had that thing talked about in my whole life. But now, right now, um, I have classes and they talk about yourself in different ways. So yeah, now I'm, I'm doing things. I'm trying to feel certain ways to help myself out. For the mental and it's gonna help in the future for the physical. So yeah, I kind of get it. Oh. So I gave mine, it's gonna be Troy, Kyle, and then Crystal. Okay. Um, I definitely feel like at this point in my life, I'm giving all that I have to a relationship with myself. Cause not, not only that, I am in a relationship now after three months now, thank God. Um, and so for me, I, in order to be able to do that, I need to be able to you know, be all that I can for myself in my own relationship with me. So I feel like I've reached a point in my life where I knew who I, I know who I am. I know what I want, what I don't want, what I will do with and what I want. And I know who I am as a pansexual man and um, in every aspect of my life. So yes, I feel like I am um, in learning each, even more every day. Even being in a relationship, I'm learning more about myself. So yes, I feel like I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chris, <laughs> that sounds good. I think Kyle is next. Kyle is oh, next. Kyle. Sorry. Sorry, Kyle. Go ahead. I am a I am a white man in America. Okay, <laughs> all I do is treat myself well. That's all I know how to do is is, 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 is <laughs> I'm having a great relationship with myself. That is what we are taught the moment we are born. So that has not been a problem for me. Um, the, I, I have the other option. I gotta I gotta think of myself less because <laughs> believe me, it is it is it is like a treat yourself day every day. <laughs> In white America, white male America. Trust me, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm good. I'm good. Next. Come on, Cal. You better talk today. Thanks. Yeah, man. Thanks. I mean, like, thanks for saying that out loud on hashtag Verse TV. Like, that was just the most awesome thing to hear. Yes, yes. Seriously. Um, and uh, the answer to that question for me: Am I giving my all to the relationship I have to myself? If not, why? Am I giving my all? Yes, I'm giving my all. Because I haven't, I haven't in the past. So I'm, I have to give that a chance because I haven't. I've been so selfless in giving to other people. And, you know, it's easy to get pulled in other directions. And it's, you know, it's easy to, uh, you know, uh, get distracted by uh, other people's stuff. So um, yes, I'm giving my, I'm giving my all today. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, cool. Question number three. Come on, Jasmine. Tell me something I'd be surprised to know about you. 